Tankless hot water heaters are a great addition to any home because they're energy efficient. You're only paying to heat the water that you use and you can fit them into tight nooks and crannies like you see here. As long as you maintain them and do vinegar flush like I'm going to show you today once a year, they'll last at least 20 to 25 years and sometimes even 30, which is double the life of a regular hot water tank. Now this would normally cost you about $150, but today I'm going to show you how you can do it for free. To have a plumber or technician flush your tankless hot water heater, it will cost $150 or more per year. The first time you do this yourself, it will cost you approximately $130 for the supplies. The following years, it will only cost approximately $9 for the food grade white vinegar. All these supplies can be purchased at your local hardware store or online. The first step is to ensure that power is disconnected from the tankless hot water heater and also turn off your gas main. Now it's a very tight spot in here, but you can see that the gas feed going to the tankless hot water heater, the valve is perpendicular, meaning that the supply is turned off. Once you have the power disconnected and the gas isolated, then you can shut off the hot and cold water valves. So you can isolate them by turning them perpendicular. Remove the service valve covers, then connect one hose to the cold water service valve and the other hose to the hot water service valve. Leave the other ends of the hose in an empty five gallon bucket. I have both hoses in a five gallon pail and now I'm going to open the service valves and drain any water that is in the tank. Place the pump in the bucket and connect the hose from the cold water service valve to the pump outlet. Pour four gallons of food grade white vinegar into the bucket. Operate the pump and allow the vinegar to circulate through the water heater for at least an hour. I prefer to do the flush for an hour and a half. We have about five more minutes to go, the vinegar flush, and as you can see, the vinegar is now turning a greenish gray color. So it's working its magic and cleaning the heat exchanger. Once the flush is complete, turn off the pump, remove it, and remove the cold water valve hose. Discard the vinegar appropriately. Then close the cold water service valve and open the cold water main shutoff valve. Place the free end of the drain hose back in the empty bucket. Now it's time to flush the vinegar out of the tank by emptying 20 gallons worth of water, which is 4 buckets worth of water. Close the cold water main shutoff valve. When the unit has finished draining, remove the inline filter at the cold water inlet and clean out any residue. You can clean out the residue with some water. Then place the filter back into the unit and open the cold water main shutoff valve. Close both service valves, remove any hoses, and place the service valve covers back on. Open the hot water main shutoff valve, and then finally, the last step is to restore the power and the gas back to the water heater. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, and to stay connected, subscribe to my channel, and you can also follow me on Instagram.